Well, I took the outer loop in San Antonio and uh, down south, oh, it came down. Uh, back on with the rain gear. As I said, on, on the outer loop, which is 410, that goes around San Antonio, and I'm being hit with the uh, rain. Uh, my last stop, I was really pouring down uh, very hard. You can see the clouds off in the distance, and I hit this uh, on and off. It was uh, uh, pretty bad in some sections, but this is what you have to go through when you're uh, riding a motorcycle. Uh, I bring rain gear on all my trips, especially a long distance trip, and uh, this is what I go through. But uh, it's enjoyable for me, uh, you know, this part of the adventure. And if you want a venture in your life, uh, hop on a motorcycle and uh, go out there. Now I'm taking a 410 and I'm working my way over to Interstate. 37 South and 37 South will take me all the way down till I reach uh, Interstate 69 that will bring me back to uh, Brownsville Okay, uh, as you saw me coming down off in the distance there's clouds now in uh, Especially in Texas. I can see the rain now if you take a look, it looks like a curtain coming down where it's light, but over here, that's all rain, and it's I just started getting drops. You can see up north is a little bit clearer, and down here, it's rain. I thought I would take a break before I get into it. Ah, uh, oh, there's been some trip with the weather not good uh, but what can you do like I like I tell people I had someone come up to me and they go what happens uh, when it rains when you're on the motorcycle I said you get wet <laughs> the obvious answer uh, you just have to deal with it anyway I'm gonna take a little break here and that's it as you can see, I'm back on the road because you can't wait forever. <laughs> this is what happens when you're when you're doing this is uh, you can't wait because uh, what happens if it rains all night uh, and everything? You have to uh, get back on and and ride. So that's what I did. I got back on and ride, but you can see up ahead it's starting to get lighter. Made it to Corpus Christi, uh, the sun is out, it's partially cloudy, but I took off my rain gear, hopefully I don't need it anymore, and uh, my pants are still wet a little bit, but that, that it should dry out. Uh, beautiful day, not too bad, this is uh, I-69 right here, right in front of us. Uh, and I'm going to continue on. I'm on I-69 South and I'm going to make my usual stop at the Sarita Checkpoint. Uh, not the Sarita Checkpoint, but they have a rest stop uh, right after uh, you pass through Sarita and just before the Border Patrol Checkpoint, but that's only going northbound. And I always stop off here because from this point on to my house is approximately 80 miles. So I always pull in here, uh, stretch my legs, go to the bathroom. They have a, a very nice facilities here. And if you want, uh, they have uh, barbecue pits and things like that. So if you're traveling through Texas, uh, this is why I always say, uh, our, our uh, rest stops are very nice that mostly they all have barbecue pits so it's one thing to look out for okay 
Here I am at the, uh, I call it the Cerrito Rest Stop. It does have a different name. But the, uh, the closest uh, town is Cerrito, Texas, up the road. About, no, about 10 miles or so. And also, the, this is where I usually stop going northbound. There's a Border Patrol station just uh, south of where I'm standing right now. So, you have to go through that. And uh, I just came to stretch my legs before the final push, and then it's gonna be non-stop until I get home and uh, fall down. <laughs> so, I'll see you when I get home. I left the check stop. Uh, I'm not check spot. I left the uh, rest stop, and here is the Border Patrol station and here they have high-tech cameras on both sides of the road uh, they have facial recognition software and people do get caught that are fugitives going through this area now I'm almost home I'm approaching Hollingen, Texas and this is the next big city north of where I live uh, and you can make a turn off here going to McAllen. That's another large uh, city down where I live. Uh, the city's here, uh, just a little bit less than 200,000 people each. So, but once you get out of the mega cities, uh, that's a, a pretty good sized city uh, when you leave like places like New York or Chicago or Miami or Los Angeles so uh, uh, a, a big city is usually a little over a hundred thousand people I'm gonna end this now and because I'm almost home and that's it I hope you like it please click like subscribe share comment down below have a good day everyone